We're here with head women's water polo coach Craig Ron, who will guide the Regals for his 12th season in 2015. Coach, you have a new look team um, with more incoming players than returners from a year ago. Outside of that course seven, who will suit up again, you bring in three transfers, a slew of freshmen. Who stood out during preseason training so far? Gosh, we had a lot of girls. Yeah, we do have a new look. Um, we we lost some kids to graduation. We lost Adrian and Gala to a shoulder surgery, uh, who will be hard to replace. But uh, I have a lot of faith and confidence in the returners. They worked really hard in this off season, harder than I've ever seen our women work before. We have a lot of experience, even though we're a little on the younger with only two seniors. A lot of experience, a lot of that junior class has played a lot. So we're looking for a pretty balanced offensive attack this year. And you just noted you have two seniors in Jordan Carden and Kaylee Castor up there. You've each played for yeah. four seasons. What do you expect from that pair in terms of both leadership and production yeah. in the pool? Uh, we're getting exactly what we expect from both of them. We expect leadership. Uh, they have been in a lot of rodeos before for us and we just expect them to, to lead. We want them to be cool, calm, and collected as we play in these tough Skyac games and even preseason games. Games. They're living up to everything. They uh, they worked hard. They led the girls in the off season. They're doing a great job so far. Um, to stay with the upperclassmen, you've got a strong group of juniors and one sophomore as well, who each had breakout seasons last year. What should we expect from that group? Well, we have two left-handed players now, and Amanda and Tatiana McQuaig that. Uh, and Amanda Jones, that is, that have a lot of experience and are tenacious and are much more confident this year than I've seen them before. Amanda's coming off a, a little bit of an illness, so it might take her a couple weeks to get in shape, but both of them are doing a great job. They look uh, leaner, fitter, more conditioned, and uh, we're looking for a strong left-hand side from them. And Gina Mary stepped up in a huge way last year for you as a starting goalie. She set a school record for her saves in a season. How will her experience help the overall defensive unit this year? Well, Gina Mary is going to just lock down the defense. And the unfortunate thing for her last year is going into the Skyac tournament, as most people know now. She came down with a, a case of mono and was only able to participate in the first day. Didn't get to play the second and third day. And so, uh, but she's back and Gina is Gina. She keeps herself well fit. She trains really hard. Uh, the pre there hasn't been a lot of pressure competitively because she's our only goalie out there. Uh, but like Gina does, she'll still work as uh, hard as she can. She doesn't look at it that way. She looks at it more as uh, doing her part for the team, and she's just such a great foundation in the goal for us. I expect a, a, another record-setting year from her. And then down at the other end of the pool, what are some of the things we should look for offensively? Well, I think, like we mentioned, we have a couple of left-handers that can shoot the ball. We have a newcomer, Maggie Kurzika, who played at Pierce College uh, via Agora High School. So she has a lot of great uh, uh, experience in big games and tough games. She's a great outside shooter. Uh, we have uh, another uh, community college transfer in Lauren Shackelford from Santa Barbara. She grew up in the Santa Barbara Water Polo Foundation system, which is one of the best in the, in the world. And so we're looking for great things from her. And, uh, and I think, uh, just like I said, a, a really well-balanced offensive attack. You guys have been in the pool for a couple weeks training. You're just on the horizon of your opening weekend up north. What are some of the things you're most excited for and what are your overall expectations for this group this year? Well, you know, uh, working out for almost a month before your games, we just want to play a game and, and we're looking forward to it. And we know there's four teams out there that are very accomplished, very good programs. We start at Monterey Bay. They have a, a very quirky but yet sophisticated, a great coach, knows what he's doing, runs some very interesting things, so that'll be a challenge. And then uh, we move on to Cal State East Bay, uh, and Lisa up there does a great job with her group, scholarship athletes, so that'll be a tough one at their place. And then on to uh, Santa Clara, where we're going to play Santa Clara at home, and then Sonoma State, who year in and year out, it seems like we come down to one or two goals. And so we're looking for a lot of great challenges, uh, but the girls have been working hard. And I think the best part about getting in and competing isn't really necessarily the winning or losing, but really finding out what you have. And uh, to this point, we're not really sure what we have until we throw them out there to the wolves and let them play and let them compete. And, uh, and, and then we'll take it from there. Coach, last question. You guys, year in and year out, play a very competitive schedule. You play a lot of Division I, Division II programs. How do those games help you to develop to play competitively in the Sky at conference against opponents that well, are even 
even with. Yeah, I, I mean, to win the Skyac, you have to. Ha there's a lot of things that have to happen. You have to be a physical team. You have to be a smart team. You have to be a well-conditioned team. And so when we go out there to play, you know, Division One and Division Two schools, that's what we expect. We expect to play teams that are conditioned, that are intelligent in the water, and are physical. And we figure if we can compete with them at that level. Uh, maybe not necessarily always win the or, or be on the winning edge of the outcome, but definitely learn to hone our, our skills in that direction so that when we do get into Skyac games and we play the likes of Redlands and CMS and Whittier and, and Pomona and all the others, uh, at least we'll be ready for that type of water polo because it is a very physical, demanding conference. Coach, thank you for your time. Good luck this spring. Okay, thank you.